we're we've been a registered charity now like a proper proper one for just under two years i think it is it isn't that long proper one were we not a proper one before then no we'll just uh we just had a we've had a registered number <clears throat> Yeah, no, he's just started uh, taking it seriously now. He's, he's, he's got, he's got, like, he's got his CEO hat and his CEO jumper on now. You see, he's colour coordinated. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. colour coordinated. Yeah. Uh, uh, and see, I've got, see, I've got, I've I, got bet he's, I bet he's been reading a, a book on like power colours or something, and he's like, if I wear mustard, they're going to take me seriously. Yeah. Well, I wanted to wear my man up hoodie, but my butler's ironing it. <laughs> <laughs> but, no. but no, all it is, I say, like we're. we're as an idea, we've been going for three years, or just over just over three years, and then it's turned into a charity. Most of that most of that life was actually during COVID, so we had to learn very very quickly. And then after COVID, everything completely and utterly blew up. We're we're very blessed with like fund fundraisers. So thank you to each and every one of you out there. But we're not one of those charities. What we don't want to be rich. We don't want to be this. We 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 want to actually put ourselves out of a business. We actually, or I think all of us will agree, we want to shut down man up. And the only way you can do that is by changing the stigma about men's and men, men's and mental health. But I just wanted to have a bit of a, a year review, really. And rather than do the whole official trustee meeting stuff, actually have a bit of a natter about it on our social media page and let people see the other stuff that we do. Because I think people think we only do just the videos. Mm. Quite possible. And that so I thought you know I saw it Let, let's let's put it into a video like some of the things we've done yeah we, we've done a lot of stuff with schools we've done some stuff with businesses but what people don't realize is actually because we've been quite blessed with fundraisers and people helping out us, us financially and if anyone thinks running a charity can be done for free has no idea what they're <laughs> has no idea what they're talking about everything costs money the website the hoodies everything just costs us money but because we're quite blessed, we've we've been helping out other charities like Strong Men, uh, Rural Coffee Club, Family First, um, Route to Freedom. We're paying for a, not a soup kitchen, but like a food bank. They're doing a Christmas Day meal for the homeless. Yeah. And, and I'm just like, do you know what? We, we, we don't gloat. We, we're not like that. But we've done some good shit. Mm. Yeah, we have. Yeah, absolutely. We have. We've done absolutely, it, we like, have. Massive. Like, I've, I've, like, you say look back like a year, like in the last year, like this time last year, we were having conversations and you were kind of saying to me, Ian, do you want to get involved? And do you want to do it? And my first trustee meeting was in the January. And like, it's it's gone like that. It has, it at, really has, yeah. And, and I look at like the 12 months of what we've done in that period of time. It's, it, it's like, it's constant. There's constantly stuff happening, which I love. Like there's always something going on. Like we're always texting each other. There's always emails going back and forth. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? And I just... Like, I wish people in business worked like we do as trustees. Like, we've got like the whole group of us Black, together. Blagging, got, yeah. blagging it. Well, we're, we're just, <laughs> we've got such a good relationship about it. And like, we even said it on one of the last meetings that, like, we're not afraid to call each other out and we're not afraid to support each other. Like, if we, if we get something, we get it and we're all in, all of us. And yeah. if we don't like it, we'll call it out. Like, yeah, that, they're really honest conversations. And I don't think we could get to where we are now unless we had those honest conversations because otherwise you just kind of skirt around each other. And I think. But do you we're not just... think that that's because we're all here voluntarily rather yeah. than being here to actually um, make money to pay the mortgage? Yeah. You know, and, and because I think people would get the arse ache, you know, if we spoke to each, you know, our em, employers or employees or companions, uh, no, colleagues, that's the word I'm looking for, the way that we speak to each other, you know, the, the job wouldn't last five minutes. Well, I, because, I because, I, I, because, I, I, because, yeah. because, well, because it's, you know, I mean, I, I suppose to a degree you could say it's non-PC, but it's very open. You know, the mm. conversations that we have are very open and people don't take umbrage if they don't get what they want. If they don't, that's kind of wrong. But, you know, if they if somebody doesn't agree with their opinion, we you know we're all open enough to take on another opinion and go, actually, that's better than the idea that I had. Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. Well, I think that that's... And I've said this. Before, I think I've said it in the video before, and I, I did it a talk uh, that a talk the other day. Is I think with us as a charity, we're not scared to offend people. We try not to, but we're not scared to offend people. But we don't like upsetting people. And there's a yeah, bit true. And sometimes, yeah, when, there is a big difference. But, but the massive difference, what one you choose to be. But anyway, I digress. It, it's just I, I think what people forget is we're not here to train the mental health first aiders. We're not here to train the people who actually up to a point don't have any mental health issues. We're here to change minds about the blokes who are struggling. 
and the, and the impact of that is is if we can get them talking to their missus or their fella or whatever else, then all happy days. I think there was a point mm. in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you're right. It's 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 those conversations. I'm like, like I've certainly been over the last twelve months. It's, it's like we're not when it gets to the point, and we've all said this when it's kind of full crisis mode. Yeah, that's not us. Yeah, like we want to kind of promote having those conversations before it gets there. Crisis mode, we're like molehill stage, not at the top of the mountain, and I think that's, yeah, absolutely, yeah, that's really powerful. That would that would do that by having like open, yeah. honest conversation with people from all kinds of walks of different life, all kinds of different events, and knowing that we're in this together, pushing for a common cause to really change the the, the conversations mm-hmm. around it. And in twelve months, like the reach that we get now and some of the opportunities that have opened this year have just be nuts like oh, as a as as a as a any charity out there would snap people's no. arms off for of some of the stuff we're coming across now and it's yeah. it's incredible to be part of it yeah well there's only sort of the other day with aviva which that aviva thing was absolutely mind-blowing but literally within two minutes of being on that stage i, I completely fucked off the slides mm. and that i don't know there's just something with the audience and i, I couldn't adjust to the slides i'm like you know i'm just going to be honest about men's mental health and rather than rather than doing my script, which I, I know inside how, I think I just went off on one about high functioning and depressing. Mm. So it was just, real. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I just, I just saw that that was my... Well, it's from the heart as well. Well, yeah, yeah no, absolutely. I've been there. And I think that's why Man Up works, because each and every one of us have had some sort of issue, even with the trustees and even our designer or whatever else, of all who people don't know, have, have all had some sort of mental health issue. It might might not be full-blown crazies like I've had, but it can be cancer, it could be this, it could be that. So we've, we've all been there. And I think spreading that word just works. Mm-hmm. And now it's, 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 it, it's changed my mindset as well. Like the whole this whole 12 months has changed how I look at myself and like I was having a bit of a kind of in a bit of a funk like a couple of months ago and and my missus turned around and said to me she said you need to listen to your own advice <laughs> and it was yeah. and I was like and I like was the I mean she, if she was if she heard this she'd kill us but like that was one of the most profound things she's ever said and I was just like you need to listen to your own advice and what you tell people to do it man up and I was like damn you're absolutely right yeah, and it's then cl- it's it's clear concise and it's that just you know smacks you straight on the nose doesn't it yeah, really yeah. <laughs> and then we, we took the dogs off for what, I chewed a year off and just like how much better do you feel now why didn't you do that two months ago and I'm like you know what you're right yeah mm. uh, exactly that but I, uh, and I'd like to think that that's the message what we we we, we pass through and even when we deal with the many businesses now and it's starting to turn into m- many or good few we just uncomplicate the conversation about mental health that's the thing you know I mean we've always we've always taken a very sort of straight line you know, yeah. the, we um, and going back to the point you made at the beginning about you know not upsetting people. You know, we're not worried about offending people, but upsetting people is not what we do. And I think that's that's probably where we come from, and that's probably where we'll stay. I would like to think in the fact that you know it's just a direct line. It's just straight down. You know, there's no airs and there's no graces. You know, if you if you're struggling, go and speak to somebody. That's it. It's, I mean, and that's the message we've been pivoting on for the last three years yeah no, absolutely mm. but yeah this is yet again what i keep saying it's just like we're not talking to those people or high ex- who their bread and butter is the mental health and all this kind of stuff we're not do- we're not doing that we're-, we're training the people who everyone else is missing i use it to- i don't know why i keep saying training but i guess we are aren't we just- educating <laughs> it's educating. educating it's not really ter- training is it it's no, educating. no it's, it's not that- that's totally and utterly the- totally and utterly the wrong word and but it's like I said to somebody, no, I think it was Santa Fe, because I think one of her friends messaged her about something. I was like, oh, Dan's terminology and the term man up is. Rah, rah, rah. I was like, but I'm not, I'm not speaking to these people. I'm not speaking to those, but those be great. I'm speaking to people like me. I'm speaking to people like you and Ian, because you're the ones what probably wouldn't tell your missus as that life's going a little bit wonky because we're told to man up and all this, all this kind of stuff. But what people don't realise. Is when I go when I go when I go and pick up the letters from the funeral homes, which is roughly once a week. Some of those letters, well, you've re- you've read some of them when I sent you the photos. They're they're hard they're hard they're hard ones, and I oh I, yeah, that's hard that's hard reading. No, do, do you know what I mean? and it's and it's constant. So I'm like, you know, if I upset if I upset some ultra PC person, whatever, because we we we've not us personally, but society has let that person down. Mm. 
and we're we're cashing in a two hundred pound check because somebody's lost their somebody's lost their husband or their dad. Mm. Well, it's, it's also which we'd really, which, which we'd really rather not be doing. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's more... very kind of people to to contribute so that we can carry on, kind of, you know, spreading the word and just keep the operations costs ticking over. But, but even so, you know, as you alluded to, and as you and I and probably Ian's caught up with it now, you know, whenever we're out and wherever we're talking and speaking to people, you know, if we could shut this charity down tomorrow, I'd be the happiest bloody boy in the world yeah, I'll, because I'll... because there was no need for us. Yeah, no, bloody I... perfect. No, exactly. Done our that, job. Thank you very much. But I think this also, I've said, I'm gonna. Um, I think this is also what what one of one of the most biggest achievements. What I think we're actually done. I think it's now four, five, six charities that we, we've either financially supported or helped them run the start their own events. Because mm. yet again, I think it's like Sam. We know we we cannot fix mental health. No one can. No business. No ch- service. NHS, NHS certainly can't. None of us can do it on our own. But working together, we can. To so say like the Royal Coffee Club, when we help those guys out, we can't we can't reach out those those remote places and those those farmers and whatever else. We we do, we just can't do it. So let's let's enable them to do stuff better. And neither can you put a a a monetary figure on the help that they're giving to people. No. You know there is, there is you know how much is you know how much is a conversation worth. Yeah. How much is it? How much is it worth for somebody to go along? I've gone have a cup of coffee and go. Actually, I've got my shit sorted out a little bit more now. I, th- I think I know what I've got to do, <clears throat> and I've got to go and talk to my mate, or I've got to talk to my son, or my dad, or my cousin, or my wife, or whoever it may be, and get things squared away. Yeah. That's worth millions. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. actually, well, it's funny you say because uh, do you remember one of the first ones we did was uh, I'll be very careful what I say, but we 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 helped a charity who was re- a tiny charity. But we helped them out because they couldn't afford to help some person, some family member who's in rehab. The charity was funding that person. Yes, I remember. Do, yes, do, do, yeah. do you remember? Yes, I, we yes, were very I do, careful because yeah. obviously I'm well aware they might. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we yeah we don't anonymity so, so and all that. Yeah, so we're like, do you know what? Well, let let us help you out as a, as a charity. So which meant that they can pay their staff for a couple of more months or whatever it was. That person and that family stayed in rehab, and the family was fine. So that community was doing very very well. And then six months later, um, somebody contacted us like, oh, would you be able to help us out with a homeless Christmas meal thing? And we've done the whole thing, obviously done the research. And then one of the, t- that charity phoned me up and was like, do you know who you just spoke to? I was like, no. So like, that's the same person you helped us pay for t- rehab. Mm-hmm. So they're now back in the, they're back in the community. They've done all of that. They're back in the community trying to get where well, I think they've got a job, but they're running soup kitchens and trying to prevent other people getting addiction. Well, I'm, I'm busy and probably don't necessarily have the time to think about being depressed. You know, they go, they go along to their, their, you know their hobbies or their soup kitchen or whatever it is they're working with colleagues they're yep. you know banter they're having a laugh they're having a chat with people that come in all of a sudden you know this there there isn't the headspace to be you know you know normally where people would go home and go oh my god you know this is just awful they're going home and going this is fantastic i feel really good i'm gonna stick my feet up have a mug of cocoa go to bed yeah and i'm really happy with what i've done today yeah no, uh, exactly. big right. difference yeah and it, directly or indirectly, we've helped help give that person and that family and that charity another sense of purpose. Yeah. And the impact of that is is they're not on the dole. They're not. They're not on the. They're not robbing. They're not doing stuff. We, we we've helped a family, a charity, and that, that's just one tiny example. Mm. Fit back. In. I think. I think a lot of what we're doing, we're doing it like in the in a, in a modern way. Like it's not like there's some amazing charities, there's some amazing huge charities, some amazing small charities. But I think the way that we talk about this stuff, the way that we market ourselves, the way that we get the message out there, we're, we're making use of all the skills and tools that we've got. As it a is it's delivery. You're right, Ian. It's yeah. delivery, isn't it? Yeah. And that makes a, that makes a massive difference because we're in the kind of in people's homes, we're on people's phones, yeah, we're in yeah. people's email boxes on their social media stuff, and like. The amount of messages that we all see, you know, I got emails or social media that people have just messaged in and just said, or even when we've been out and about and we've talked about, like when we did that stuff in London and people came up, like I watch your stuff. It's really helped me because I I, I related to, I related to this bit. I watched this bit. I understood that and it made me feel like I wasn't alone and it kind of 
just lifted me that little bit more. And the wider this spreads, the more people that, that impact. And that's like, that's life changing stuff. You're pulling people back from some like really dark places by us just being us and having some really conversa good conversations and getting the message out in a, in a, in a way that works. Yep, totally. Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't know where to come back from that one. So one of you, <laughs> <laughs> go, yeah, go that, that, that really. But again, I, I don't. I hope this video doesn't mm. look like we're just three blokes cock waving of how good we are. Because it's, <laughs> no. it's, it's 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 not that. It's not us as individuals. It's it's actually the fundraisers. It's the it is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, all we're yeah. all we're doing is is rerouting that, you know, those funds into something that you know, channeling it into something that can be done for good. No, exactly, and yet again, that, that's that's not just that's not we don't just support other charities. We do we do our own events, and we do stuff with businesses and charities, and all all and all of this kind of stuff as well. So we're, we're an extremely busy charity. We we really are. Um, it will be interesting to see what happens next year. Well, I think it's going to be yeah. If we build on what we've gotten, we'll have another twelve yeah. months of kind of repeating. Like if we're having this conversation in twelve months' time. Like I, I'm excited to see where what, what happens. Yeah, uh, we've got some difficult months. Like we know, like statistically, what's coming up like over these next yeah. few months is is a real dark time for a lot of people. Like you've you've gone through Christmas is always tough. Going through January is always tough. Like winter and all that. There's there's some yeah, real crack, challenges crack, for crack people. Weather. There's money problems as well. Don't forget, yeah. you know. Well, as if I need to tell you, you're the money man. But um, but you know, I think all of those things combined can make for a very you know a very deep hole, a very dark hole. Mm. you know and yeah. that's that that's where you know people need to just get talking well it, it, it needs to be a phone call no, uh, exactly that but I, I think that that's what that's going to be one of my more goals even more than now goals a more goal uh, more goal whatever it, it's just changing the mindset yes again yeah we get people talking put me in a room and i can normally get people talking i can normally get people talking i don't think i'm quite good at that and i'm chuffed about that but it is one telling people to shut up and actually listen but also as well is actually i think we're moving in a dangerous world at the moment where everyone's got their own problems so they don't want to burn burden somebody else else with their problems <clears throat> and i think that i think that's getting worse even worse yes yeah, so do I. and i i think next year i've yeah, we're changing stigma. Yeah, I got stopped in the street a couple of weeks ago. Oh, you done for a minute? Yeah, whatever. That stuff is is funny. Something freaked me out actually. But actually, it's not about the. It's not about what we are doing. What what aren't we doing? Mm. And trying to get into trying to keep getting to those places. And and I, I don't mean this how it's going to sound. I watch a lot of charities. Hell of a lot of charities. I know a lot of charity people, and there's some somewhat do really really good stuff. A lot of them do. I've noticed there's hell of a lot of them that they they just they they're all in their same circles. They're in their same circles, and I'm like, okay, if you stay in them circuit, if you stay in them same circles, nothing's going to change. Yeah, that. Thank you. You caught me out. I, was, I, was, I felt myself digging myself in a hole more and more. Well, and I was trying to work out what you were what you were trying to say. Yeah, but 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 if you're you know if you're just socialising or you know you're working within that circle, your circle is never going to get any bigger. Is it? Yeah. You know, you need yeah. people from the outside to start yeah. interacting with you, to to make your circle bigger and to start going off onto little, you know, tangents where we can do different stuff with different people. No, exactly. Well, that, that's why. Like, even yet again, like me, me, me and Ian, um, we go in London again on the nineteenth of December. Um, oh. go to Cam Camden, just going around, just literally just walking up to strangers in the, in the streets. Just to see, just to see what happens. Yes, that'll be good for our social media because obviously we are. Let's face it, we are a social media, a social centric. Media. Uh, absolutely. So for us, it's charity. It's, it's good yeah. content, which hopefully the knock on effect with that would would just get people talking yet again on social media and the different platforms. But actually, do you know what? If we spend two hours in in London and one person goes home to to their partner and says we need to we need to talk about whatever, <laughs> done. Well, mate, that's the thing. Like, like when we did it last time, we were down there for a whole day, weren't we? With yeah, with, um, with, um, with, um, wild. With, with with wild, and it's yeah. like even the people that we didn't stop and have a conversation with on camera, I, I didn't want to. They all said something positive. Yeah, they all they all said great work, keep up the good work, keep doing this, and you kind of sat and think. And I came back and I'm thinking, like, 
how many of those people have gone home and had conversations after that? Like three, four steps away from us, have those three blokes that have just walked past started talking about their stuff, have they started talking about their mental health? Like it all permeates out from the middle, isn't it? Like, and then and that's what we're doing. We're having, but, it's, but it's unquantifiable. That's yeah, the, that's, that's it. kind of the great yeah. thing, but it's also quite irritating. Is the fact that you're right. You know, you you pull one guy out of that group of three, that and you and you say to him, you know, well, whatever your question is, you know, about mental health, and they wander off down the road and they start going, oh, you got pulled into that one, mate. What do you mean by so and so and so and so? They're starting to talk about it. Exactly. Yeah, and that's the critical thing. You know, they're starting mm. to talk about it, and that's all we want to do is for people yeah. to talk about it. <laughs> it's 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 that simple. Yeah. And yeah. I, I just I just thought I'd look it up because it's a little while since I checked, but we've now got eight. 1,800 followers well, just, on our, uh, on our uh, Facebook on, page. On Facebook oh, okay. page. Yeah, like LinkedIn. I think LinkedIn's just hit over 1,000. I don't know what Instagram is, a good couple of 1,000. So, yeah, it, it's certainly not really building up. Um, but I, but I think... But I think that, that's what does frustrate. But that's what does frustrate me. Sometimes you get a lot of people on on social media like, "Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that?" But do you know how much time it does? It takes. Mm. Uh, you got. Yeah, yeah. You got. You got to have this version for TikTok. You got to have that version for for thingy. You've got to have that and and whatever else. And what people don't realise is, yeah, I do most of the stuff. But actually, I've got a team behind me. I've got Steve. I've got you two. You two as well. So if I if I want an image if I want an image or whatever else done, I have to call in Steve Brown who couldn't be into, into this video. So it's just that that nothing's quick. That takes yeah. time. It takes time, but like like we've said, and that's the whole reason why yeah, look where we've come in three years. Yeah. No, I, I, like, look look at what it started yeah. off and look at where it is now. Yeah. And then just imagine yeah. where that's going to be in three years' time. That's that's phenomenal. Yeah. And when you've got the likes of Aviva asking you in. And, you say, and said, you, 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 and, you kind of know that you're doing something right, don't you? And and it said, like after the event, you're pushing on an open door. What can we do to help? And that's yeah. that's one massive company. Like imagine if we had three, four, five, ten, twenty, thirty of them. Like that's huge. Yeah, and it's just we'd, expl- we'd, exploring with them what we're we'd doing. We'd need next. a we'd need a staff of about forty. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm the rest. <laughs> yeah, I'd, 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 I'd like I'd like to see Dan managing that one. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, I'll just pull in a bigger team, but there, there we go. But it's 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 certainly moving in the direction. But I think my main thing is is just not losing that losing where 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 we started. Yeah, but uh, I, don't, I, don't, that... I don't I don't think we have today. And I think, in all honesty, you know, certainly you and me, Dan, are going to you know, whenever people start to go off on a tangent, would pull them back into, you know them back into you know we we this isn't really what we want to do or where we want to go you know this is what we're channeled on yeah and th- and and that pro that primary goal that that original mission will never change no, uh, all the time uh, all the time that we are needed and all the time that there's a charity and all the time that there's people suffering with their mental health which unfortunately i think will be fucking forever yeah. you know that that primary goal is never going to change yeah, no, I, I, exactly that. But like, I think it's like you're saying earlier on, because I think it's all it also works because we're not scared to call each other out. We've we've had those lot like, mini discussions and disagreements. We're in trustee meetings, and even even with you, I know you're 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 the new kid on the block, so to speak. But there was something I didn't want to do for man up. It's probably because I've got a little bit of hate behind it. And you're like Dan. I think basically, Dan, I think you're wrong, and we ended up using we ended up using that. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. I'm is, sure yeah. I'm sure he must have called you a dick in there at least once. He might, he might have done. He's calling me. He's <laughs> professionally, professionally, of course. <laughs> professionally, <laughs> um, you're a dick. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But yeah, again, I think that that's just that's just that's just why it works, really. Because our, our goal is changing the stigma about men's mental health. Mm. That that that's it. Um, as simple as that. Yeah, for sure. I think I think, I think like people watching this, if you want us to come and talk, want us to come and do stuff with whatever you're doing, if you've got ideas, then. Uh, reach out to us like we want to get bigger and bigger and bigger and as much as we're talking about the trustees and the, and the extra people we've got there'll be people watching this that can help us yeah, no, and yeah other, absolutely, other yeah. people that can kind of take us from where we are now to in 12 months time having a different conversation because we've got whoever involved and we've done this like email us get in contact like when everybody needs to spread the message it's not just us it's it's all other people as well yeah. as, as long as they like EastEnders because no one else talks about it oh dear god well, I'm not surprised. East Enders, it's boring. Come on, man. No, it's not. It's not. It's not boring. Oh, mate! Not like boring. honestly, I, I, if that did, 
I don't even know what I can say to that, mate. I, I was I was going to say it'd be Biker Grove, but Biker Grove stopped a long time ago, didn't it? Yeah, no, they're, they're yeah, they're doing I'm a celebrity now. Uh, I'm a celebrity, yeah. Isn't they? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Well, I think this video's done then, isn't it, really? I think yeah. so, yeah. Once yeah. again, you know, as you know, when we sign off, the message is go and talk to people. You know, don't get lost in your own hole, and particularly over the festive period, you know, over the holidays and all the rest of it, don't be afraid to talk. You know, if there's somebody you haven't spoken to in a while, then, um, you know, call them up, check them out. Yeah, and I, and I do believe sending them a message on Facebook is, isn't checking up on. No. Um, I, 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 I just think, I think even on my profile now, I've got basically, I don't reply to messages. 